Hello, this is Bill with Imaging Spectrum, and today we're going to be making backgrounds in Photoshop for the Breeze software. Now, this is on a Mac, but really the Mac window as well as the uh, Photoshop elements are all basically the same. First thing you need to do is actually physically make uh, a uh, back, uh, make a have a do a sitting in your photo booth. Make sure it's saving a JPEG because basically what we're going to do is we're going to open that saved JPEG and we're just going to make the additions to that. That way we know everything's in the right place. So we've already done some strips on the photo booth, so I'm going to go and open that. Just navigate to wherever you have those saved onto your computer. Okay, and open it. Now mine's actually flipped horizontal, and that's okay. I'm just going to go up to image, and I'm going to go to image rotation and I'm going to go 90 degrees clockwise. Okay, now it's fitting correctly on there. It's cutting off a little bit on the bottom, so I'm going to go to view, and I'm going to go down to fit on screen. Now I can see everything I'm going to do. Now there's a couple of ways to do this, and we're going to just start with clicking on the text tool here. Okay, I'm going to make a little box here on the bottom, and I've got this set for 60 um, points, so we'll see how that looks. All right, that looks pretty good. And I just saved this save to a generic uh, font there. Okay, so Rick and Brittany, and then we'll put uh, we'll put March uh, March ninth, two thousand oops thirteen. There we go. And we're going to enter that. Okay. Now that we've created one, we'll uh, come over here to layers. We're going to click in the top right there. We're going to go to duplicate layer. Yep, just duplicate it. Come over here to the move tool. And I'm just going to hit the uh, the right arrow on the keyboard just to separate it. So make sure I'm just moving this one. So move this one to place. Make sure that one looks good. Yeah, that one looks good. Okay. And by the way, I have my move tool uh, set to auto select. That way, whenever I click on whatever layer, it automatically finds it. All right. So I'm pretty happy with that placement there. Um, however, my pictures are still in the background. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back over here to layers. I'm going to make a create a new layer. Okay, I'm just going to OK that. All right, I'm going to slide that down below my text. That way, uh, that way, when I fill it, it won't be covering one of the text. So now all I have to do is come over. I'm going to pick a color. How about a how about a blue? Okay, we'll have that red and blue together. Okay, and I'm just going to go up to edit and down to fill set it for foreground color because that's what I've selected here. I'm going to click OK. So now um, now I have a color. Now I have text. Now all I have to do is come up here to file and save as. Okay, because we do want to rename it. We're going to call this background because that's exactly what it needs to be called. And we're going to change this to a JPEG. And I'm just going to put it on the desktop for now. Okay, and I can always move it later. So I'm going to save it. Save it for 11. That's plenty of uh, information okay all right so let's say I want I needed to put a corporate logo on there okay so I'm going to turn off these layers here okay I'm going to come back up to file and I'm going to go to open okay and I know on my desktop I have the ISI logo so I'm going to bring that in and I'm just going to copy this real quick okay and oh by the way I copied it by going to select all and then going to edit and copy okay so now I'm going to come back here now I'm going to go back to edit and I'm going to go down to paste okay now it's too big for my space so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here and I'm going to go to edit and I'm going to click on free transform okay and then I'm going to hold down the shift key to this corner here and I'm going to slide it in place here perfect and make it a little bit smaller. Slide it over just a little bit. Okay. And then I'm going to come over here to my layers palette. Oops, I gotta I gotta approve that change. Come over here. I'm gonna duplicate the layer. Okay, make sure the move tool is on. Move it back into place. Perfect. Okay. Um, now I'm gonna go ahead and turn the background on, and I know it's got a funky uh, white and blue there but uh, that's okay for what we're doing here and now I'm gonna go to save and I'm gonna go to save at file and save as okay click it on the desktop and I'm gonna call this background too because if I call it just background it won't uh, fit on there so background two, save it as a JPEG okay and now just put it back into breeze and you're all set to go alright thanks y'all